really very difficult to understate the impact of the virus globally, but even more so closer to home for the Middle East, in particular because the crisis we're going through today is actually the sum of two crises. So it's the repeat of the 2014 oil price shock, which the region had yet to fully recover from, in addition to the shared global health crisis. Therefore, the recovery uh, is going to very much depend on oil prices, uh, and the, the policy response equally in the region has to take into consideration that government revenue among oil exporting countries has indeed taken a hit. We've seen so far lower interest rates following the Fed cut, given the dollar pegs in the region, and stimulus packages were announced in the GCC uh, they amount to more than $160 billion, or close to 10% of the GCC GDP. But there's also been a range of consolidation measures to cut government spending and raise government revenue. Examples of these are Saudi's tripling of the VAT or Oman's cut to the ministry's budget. So these measures are indeed important to uh, help the fiscal deficits uh, in the region, given mm. the fact that they will widen significantly on lower oil prices. Let's talk about Saudi Arabia specifically, because when you talk about the oil price declines, you can't talk about a more intrinsically linked economy than Saudi Arabia. You mentioned the tripling of the VAT. Is that enough of a buffer, uh, essentially, for Saudi Arabia? Does it create enough of a buffer? So it helps in containing the fiscal deficit widening to a certain extent. Uh, it's not enough for the fiscal deficit to uh, remain uh, based on the projections that we had previously when oil prices were at uh, around $60 at the beginning of the year. It will still mean that the fiscal deficit will widen, but it, it does indeed help Saudi manage its finances uh, this year, because we do know that this level of uh, fiscal deficits and current account deficits across the GCC will mean that uh, most GCC countries will seek to tap markets, and we've already seen a number of GCC markets tap markets to raise debt externally. They'll also raise debt internally, and they'll have to also tap their savings uh, to, go to cover these twin deficits. So these measures are really important to ensure that the savings uh, are tapped in a controlled manner in, in order to basically also stem the concerns that the markets are having also on the dollar pegs. 